If we're going to win, we can't close our eyes to the problem. We need to be strong and vigilant and ruthless. This is Evan Peters. You might know him from a myriad of odd, sometimes terrifying characters in the horror anthology series American Horror Story, Quicksilver in a variety of X-Men movies, and he's won an Emmy for playing the lovable, ambitious Detective Colin Zabel in HBO's Mayor of Easttown. Have a good night, Mayor. Good night, Mayor. Don't you have a good night, Mayor? Evan's first film credit and lead role was as this adorably awkward teenager in the indie drama Clipping Adam, about a kid dealing with the death of his mother and sister. I've been getting into some trouble at school this year. Evan continued to bring subtle, natural performances, like when he played the naive Ricky Hobbs in An American Crime, based on a true story of the torture and murder of Sylvia Likens. It's like Sylvia's going off with them boys. But Evan could turn it around and do comedy on all different levels, going no holds barred as Russell, an energetic girl chasing skater kid in the 2004 comedy Sleepover. Hey, hey! What's this? Someone having a party tonight? <laughs> then, after some prominent best friend characters in films like Never Back Down and Kick Ass, and a memorable episode of The Office as Michael Scott's immature nephew. <laughs> Professional Luke! That's what you're he landed the dark role of Tate Langdon, the ghost of a school shooter who haunts the murder house in the first season of American Horror Story. I prepare for the noble war. Although Evan didn't know it yet, he was becoming a part of an anthology series with a new story every season, portraying a wide variety of characters that would exhaust him mentally. <laughs> A big season for him was American Horror Story Cult, where he mainly played a manipulative, fear-mongering cult leader who runs for office in the wake of the 2016 presidential election. But in addition to playing Jesus and Andy Warhol, he played four infamous cult leaders, Marshall Applewhite, David Koresh, Jim Jones, and he acted alongside himself as Charles Manson. You're gonna hallucinate somebody, it should be me. While he was busy playing multiple characters in this franchise, he was zip-zap-zooping around playing the arrogant speedster Quicksilver in the X-Men prequels. No, nope, you're not cops. Hey, what's with this gifted youngster's place? And apparently he zip-zap-zooped around so fast that he popped up in another franchise as maybe kind of Quicksilver in WandaVision. I feel the need for speed! <laughs> After continuing his collaboration with Ryan Murphy, playing a white-collar businessman engaged in a secret love affair in Pose, Can I kiss you? He played a young, eager-to-please detective Colin Zabel, taken under the wing of Mayor Sheehan as they work to solve a missing persons case in Mayor of Easttown. My whole life's been about being careful, Mom. Look how far that's gotten me. In addition to his Emmy win for Mayor of Easttown, he returned to the twisted world of American Horror Story for their 10th season, Double Feature. I've been coming out here to write for a few years now. This place inspires us. Evan Peters' versatility is unparalleled, especially after playing 17 different characters over the course of American Horror Story. It seems like it's been kind of an acting boot camp and Evan has sharpened his skills for anything else that comes his way.